Hello everyone, Mr Gear here. Today I'm going to be going over what this is and how we've learned to use it so far in the classroom at the Langley Academy Primary. Now this is called Numicon. You will have got a paper copy of this in your packs that we sent home before we had to do the shutdown. So what Numicon is, is it's a way to help the children identify numbers and it also helps them with simple addition and subtraction and other things like number bonds and I'll go through those in just a minute. So first of all your Numicon is a way of representing numbers. So for example this one is the number one and you can tell that because it's got one hole in it. This one here is the number two because it's got two holes in it. Makes it very easy for the children when they're counting them put their fingers through the holes and you can count them. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So each time they do it, they can put their fingers through the hole and count them. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the next thing we use them for is to do some simple addition. So for example, if you were to try and add up two numbers, you can use the Numicon to very easily do this. So, for example, if I wanted to do this one and this one, okay? Now, I'll, write, I'll use this to help us as well, we can see it better, okay? This one and this one. It's nice and easy for the children then to go one, two. So that is the number two. Add, add, and then we've got this one. One, two, three. 3. So 2 add 3. Hmm. Now, the next bit is equals, and we show that by this. Equals, equals. So 2 add, two add 3 equals, hmm, I'm not too sure. Now I can use this Numicon to help me. I'm going to take this Numicon, I take this Numicon, and I'm going to put them together, and I'm going to count all of the holes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So I now know that two add three equals five. The other way of working it out using the Numicon is I can find the Numicon that fits. So if I put these two together again, I'll turn up to you on this side. If I put these two together again, I can get all of these Numicon and put it on top and see if they fit. So let's have a look. Does this one fit? No, it doesn't. So I'll take that one away. I know this one will fit, won't it? Yeah. No, that one doesn't fit either. How about this one? This one will fit nicely just on top. Making sure there's no gaps and there's none overhanging. So now I definitely know, 100%, that two plus, or add, Three equals five. So I can write my five on here as well. There we go. Two add three equals five. And we can use the Numicon to help us with that. So that's one way of using it. Oh, two ways of using it. We've used it to identify numbers. We've also used it to do simple addition. Now there's one other thing that we've used it for so far and that is to do number bonds. Now, number bonds are two numbers that go together to make up a number, and there are different ways of doing it. So we always do our number bonds to 10, because these will help us when we're doing different sorts of addition, when we're doing all sorts of things. So, number bonds to 10 are really important. Now, the way we use the Numicon to help us with this is we get our 10 Numicon, and then we can find two of these Numicon that will fit on top exactly, and they are a number bond to 10. So for example, if I got this one, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to put my eight Numicon on there, and then, as you can see, there are some left. Now, I can do it easily by counting them, ready? One, two. How easy is that? We can also do it by finding the two Numicon, putting it on top. There we go. This is one number bond to 10. 
There we go. We can do the same way, finding another number bond to 10. I'm this time I'm going to pick this one. This is the number one, two, three, four. Then put the four numicon on top and then find out what's left. Can you work out what's left? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And here's the number six. Let's check, shall we? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, yeah, look at that. That fits perfectly on top. So we'll put those two down there together as well. So these are number bonds to 10. We've looked at addition and we've looked at identifying numbers. So far, those are the three main ways that we have been using Numicon so far. Next time, I'm going to show you how to use 10 frames and part whole models.